The Rule by Larry Height. In his first book, The Rule, How I Beat the Odds in the Markets and in Life, and How You Can Too, the hedge fund manager Larry Height, who is known as one of the forefathers of system trading, shares how he got from a rock music promoter to having one of the biggest hedge funds in the world. The book gathers the wisdom of a person who was an outsider in the early years of his life and later became one of the most famous and successful traders of all time by using the rule. This is a perfect read for new and experienced traders and even for people who don't have anything in common with the trading world but want to achieve success in their life. Stay until the end of the video to learn the top 8 mistakes people make that lose the money or two so-called eight rules for losing money. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you find it useful. And check the video description for our recommendation on useful resources. The rule starts with a life lesson. You've got to be in it to win it. And if you don't bet, you can't win. The author explains that most people are not achieving success in their life because of one thing, fear. You won't be in the winner's circle if you are not betting. You cannot win if you don't play. And most people are afraid to bet in life because they may lose. To which the author counters, your dreams are more important than your limitations. In the early years of his life, Larry Height describes himself as an unremarkable kid with some profound disabilities who was doing poorly in almost everything he tried. Being born blind in one eye and having dyslexia wasn't helping growing up. According to the author, all of his early failures became an advantage at a later stage and made him a great trader. To him, failing is just one action, one discreet action. I was used to it, and that made it easy for me to move on to the next action as quickly as possible. After graduating, Larry worked for a while in the construction field, tried to be an actor, and took some classes at the university. During one of these classes, he was introduced to stocks, bonds, and commodities. His professor at that time informed him that he can trade commodities with huge amounts of leverage, meaning borrowing money. And the only thing he had to do is put up as little as 5% of the capital. Then the professor shared another great thing. These people trade on a 5% margin, and most of them borrow even that. As Larry explains, the whole class was laughing except the one person who would later become a multimillionaire. He. Four kinds of bets. According to Larry Height, there are four kinds of bets. Good bets, bad bets, winning bets, and losing bets. Good and bad bets refer to the odds, where losing and winning bets refer to the outcome. As explained in the book, you cannot control the outcome, but you can control the odds you bet on and the risk you are taking. The worst thing that can happen to a person is to be lucky in a bad bet and win big. The author's philosophy is to not place bets on bad bets and to keep placing good bets until the law of averages works in his favor. Don't rush in. Two of the things Larry learned in his early trading career were, one, get in the game. Two, don't lose all of your chips, because without capital, you cannot bet. You are the casino. Another extremely important concept of this winning system is that a trader or a speculator needs to act as if he is the casino, and not the one playing against the casino. On the casino table, you have to put the money in the pot before you see what happens. But as speculator, you don't have to do that. You can watch the markets and see what happens. Wait for a bet with good odds and choose the right moment to enter. Betting big for the win. According to the author, in order to make big money, you have to always place bets with potentially large payoffs. If you do this on a regular basis, the odds will work in your favor and you will win big over time. 
This is why when you see a rare opportunity with a great payoff, you must be there. He took one of these opportunities when he bet $1 million on the coffee market in the mid-1970s. He managed to make $12 million at the age of 35. As he describes it, this was a life-changing breakthrough for me. Cut your losses and let your winners run. Described as the rule, cut your losses short and let your winners run is the most important and essential part of the book. In other words, when things are not going well for you, stop what you're doing, take your loss and move on. On the other hand, when all is well, ride the wave until you receive a signal that you need to change something. Larry Height claims that this rule is universal and you can use it in every aspect of your life, not only in the trading world. Eight ways to lose money. The author has analyzed and collected eight of the most common ways people lose money. If you study them well, you may be able to avoid them. Number one, being a genius. Higher IQ doesn't equal success in the markets. The final results are what counts. Even if you are right most of the time, you can still lose everything in case you put too much money on the wrong bet. Number two, assuming the markets owe you money. The markets owe you nothing and never will. Thinking the opposite may cause you a lot of trouble. Number three, ignoring the trend. The trend is your friend. A cliche in the trading world, this phrase is a timeless truth. Ignoring it and playing against the trend over a long period of time won't lead to anything good. Number four, failing to get out of a bad position. How much can I lose? This should be the first thing to consider when taking a position. Having a maximum loss in mind should make it easier for you to get out when things are going bad. Not doing so might lead to trouble. Number five, hanging on when you're losing. As a trader, you might be tempted to hold a losing position in the hope of it retracting the movement against you. This is extremely dangerous as it may lead to losing all the money you have. And this is why you should never do it. Number six, being a winner. For some, people losing comes as a big surprise. The author shares, because I'd been a poor athlete and bad student, it never surprised me that I would lose. I would quickly accept it, fold my cards, and move on to come back to play another day. I recommend you practice losing money. In the long run, that will help you win big. Number seven, getting confused at what your objective is. Sometimes people get blinded by other people or events. Not keeping an eye on the main objective may cause you to lose money. Number eight, being arrogant. The last one is pretty self-explanatory. Most of the time, arrogance is an attempt to hide vulnerability, even if we ourselves don't see it. Risk control is everything. The author says, a good gambler keeps cutting his bets when he's losing. A poor gambler keeps increasing trying to catch up. Some great suggestions on how to control the risk include using the worst case scenario as a baseline, risk only a small percentage of the equity on one trade, spread your bets, and stick with your initial plan. Following this advice will increase your chances of success tremendously. The book is a treasure, a must read for everyone who is striving for success in life and wants to learn the core principles. A brilliant work that deserves to be read every year so we can put the timeless principles in the book in our heads as long as possible. Thank you for watching. Check our channel for more videos like this. Tell us in the comments what is your favorite book. Can't get enough of reading? Find us on Facebook at facebook.com readandgrow1 and also on Twitter at twitter.com readandgrow1.